Hi everybody, it's Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is an episode of Hashtag Thrifted Treasures or Hashtag Thrifty Finds. You can do this any way you want, join in, use the hashtags, and link my channel. Um, you can show things you got from estate sales, thrift stores, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, uh, antique stores, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as it's a thrifted treasure. And thrifty also means frugal. So if you get a really good deal on something, I count that as thrifty. So anyway, let me show you what I got at my local library. I've had these for months and months and forgot about them. So I'm going to show you, you got to fill a bag for $5 and I filled a bag and this is take two. <laughs> Somehow I messed up and it wasn't filming halfway through or at all. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was. So here we go. I have this gorgeous flower arranger book. It is not vintage, but the photos are amazing. 1994, look at these pictures. They are fabulous. 1992 is the actual um, copyright date. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous pictures, my friends. Look at these. I'm just going to flip through quickly. It's teaching you how to do flower arranging, but the photos are just so pretty. And some of them will be great to use for shaker tags. I like to use real pictures. And... I can show you that another day, but I put like coffee dyed paper on the back and I sew the plastic around and put the the mix or whatever in the in front of this and it really is pretty and you could write on the back so you don't put too much um, stuff. Isn't this awesome? Beautiful, beautiful photos. So there's that. Hold on one moment. Then I have, look at this, this Audrey Hepburn book is amazing. And I know Karamia or, and maybe someone else was going to do a journal with Audrey Hepburn in it or about Audrey, I'm not sure. Whoever it is, this is copyright 1997, but the pictures are absolutely phenomenal. So let me know if, Kara, if you were the one who loves Audrey Hepburn, and I can share some of these pictures because they are fabulous. Just amazing photos. It's just, that's all this is, is filled with photos of her. And these can be used for all different things in journals. She was so beautiful. Such a talented actress too. Stately and regal, even as she aged, she was beautiful. So there's that gorgeous book. And I have another Audrey Hepburn book from the library. This looks Art Deco-ish, and I think Kara would love it if she's, it's got some cool pictures too, if, if she's the one or whoever it is. This would be good for a tear book and just take out these photos because they're just in two or three places. Um, pictures of Audrey, but it, this tells all about her life. So I don't know if, um, Kara, you would be interested in this book. So it is gorgeous. Look at that iconic picture of her. Then we have... Centennial by James A. Mishner. I just like the cover. It's linen, and I think it's beautiful. The rest of it, there's no pictures. The pages are deckled, so great pages to use for fodder. <laughs> so there's that. That's the dust jacket. This gun digest was from 1982 or 1981, and it's got aged pages that I love. They're good size that you can use to make all kinds of things. Talks about guns. Um, I have several guns and so does my husband and I'd like to read about how they progressed like or think about from then to now and there were some pictures in here that were like western 
and I'm gonna as you know I've said several times I'm gonna do a cowgirl journal and um, there were some Western styled uh, guns in here that I thought would go great there they are and my girly and these they look like girl guns to me so might be fun we'll see so my husband will probably like that then I have golden embroidery <coughs> excuse me gorgeous pictures that could be used for boho or fashion um, just and there's patterns in here look at that flower some gorgeous artwork and I love the patterns I flipped through some of the pages you didn't get to see that are really cool look at that I love that page Just some great images that I can use awesome then we have the creme de la creme this is be the art of Beatrix Potter would this not be a gorgeous journal a tear an altered book journal the cover is perfection look at the inside this goes about her life and gives you insight to her how she came about from being a child through uh, being famous it has pictures of her illustrations her paintings and everything this was actually her pet named Benjamin Bunny she bought at a bird shop in London took him home in a paper bag and for a week nobody knew she had him apparently she had him trained and she would walk around with this leather lead that she would take him for walks and she would also take him with her when she went on holidays and stuff so I just think that's pretty cool that she had a pet rabbit that was she had a leash on basically and there's her and her mother just beautiful images Ugh, except for that spider oh look at that she loved rabbits because Benjamin Bunny was her buddy some mice I wonder if she had pet mice too <laughs> just a wonderful book full of her drawings look at the mushrooms just amazing that's kitty cats so I think this was a treasure it's not old but it's got gorgeous pictures then we have this debutante book Brenda Frazier I don't know who she is you guys might there's some cool pictures that can be used out of this and I like the cover so it would make a nice journal an altered book and they're kind of sprinkled throughout some of the pictures are there's one here so very cool I think this was the 80s is when it was published but it's about her life I think she was born in the 20s that's her and her mother cute great pictures so love that then from eBay I got this I've never seen one like that somebody showed one and I couldn't believe it it's so pretty um, this spine is trying to come apart so I may use just the front and back cover and harvest the spine but look at oh there's a treasure sloppy joe sandwiches huh this is interesting I've never seen one like that um, but it's really cool it's got hints on every um, divider and there are a few cool pictures but I just love the cover I don't even care about the rest of it but the pages are in great condition and they're all here and I had ordered this thinking it was this and it is not it is a bound book like that however this would be gorgeous for the cover of a cookbook the inside is pretty much the same some of the pages are super glossy some are not and I love this between the two I should be able to make a really cool cookbook journal gingerbread yay <laughs> Uh, eventually it's going to be a, a while I've got too much to do look at that um, 
to start it now, nor could I even find anything. So, take two is finished. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hashtag Thrifted Treasures, Hashtag Thrifty Vines. And please know you are loved no matter what you are. God loves you so very much, and so do I. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.